All right, Dob, it is time. It's finally time to welcome the new recruits to the Brick Rigs Police Department. I heard some of our best creators have been designing some of the new police vehicles. Dob, I hope you brought an extra pair of pants because it's gonna get messy here today. So, 10 choices, but only one winner to decide who has the ultimate police creation. Dob, do you think you're ready for this? Let's get moving. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today, we're back with something a bit different. Think of this as a bonus episode of Brick Rigs this week. Because we are here to judge the police creations from the Discord competition. Now, it has been a long time since we've done this, but I thought it would be cool to bring this back. And I'm going to let you guys, the loyal Brick Rigs viewers at home, decide which creation you like the best. So, by the way, if you didn't know, I have a Discord. You can join it down below. This is where these came from. I gave the, uh, the guys on the Discord about a week and a half uh, to build a police creation. And I gave them complete freedom as to what they wanted to build. So, I selected ten of them. We're going to go through them here. I'm not going to tell you guys the names of who created them. I'll just have a poll down in the uh, description of the creations in order. So if you want to go vote, uh, you'll be able to do that there. So we'll go through each creation, test out the features, probably blow it up, and do normal Brick Rigs things with them. But it's going to be up to you guys to decide who wins. So anyways, Normal Bob and Multiplayer are returning soon. We're just getting this bonus episode so you guys can decide a winner. If you guys have any suggestions for future Brick Rigs competitions, comment below. Uh, maybe what themes you want to see. And if you're enjoying Brick Rigs on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel, and let's do this. Oh boy, Dob, I am super excited for this. We've got ten great creations. We'll go from right to left, uh, kind of play around with each of them. And yeah, this is going to be awesome. So... We're gonna start off with this creation here. Are you ready for this, Dob? All right, let's do this. All right, this is the 2088 Police Decimator. This thing has actually quite a few features. So let's go ahead and hop into it here. Uh, we're gonna pull it away from the other vehicles. Oh, this is oddly silent. Uh, kinda like the way this thing looks. Oh, no! Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think we already broke the video. No! Okay, so now that that's over with, this is the 2088 Police Decimator. Doesn't sound... I guess it's running on uh, electric motors, possibly? I don't hear any engine noises. Now, this thing's a, a little odd looking. It's got... I don't really know what that is. It's like a little face on the uh, on the wheels there. It says Brick Rigs, uh, or City of Brick Rigs Police. Uh, it does have your standard, looks like your lights. There we go, light them up there. Got a police horn. Now this thing does have a couple really unique features. I can click a couple buttons here and <laughs> that is the decimator portion of this build. So, I mean, I guess if you have authorization to do that, like what in the heck? The police chases would last like literally seconds. Like that is, yeah, that seems like it's overkill, doesn't it? So, that's not the only thing that this little police creation does. It's got another really unique feature. Now, check this out. I'm going to click the alt mode here. Now, you saw something fold down there. Check that. Okay. Uh, let's get in a, a good view. I'm going to turn off the sirens real quick. All right, here we go. All right, so I can go page up and down and check this out. The thing flies. Man, the Brick Ricks creators have come out in full force. This is awesome. We are now a flying police car. Uh, it takes a little bit to get used to, you know, it's uh, definitely strong, it hovers. I kind of wish the alt camera would work with us a little bit more. There we go. That is so cool. That is so awesome. No, 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 not the train again. Obviously the decimator, uh, the big explodey thingy that's in here, uh, it's probably one of those uh, glitched out guns where it's like a thousand guns in one, and yeah, when it got hit by the train, it took a while before my game came back. But, yeah, that's definitely a very awesome creation. Let's see if we can... Can we deactivate these? And... Oh, let's... How do we... Okay, are we good? Or do I have to reset to deactivate? Oh, there we, yeah, come on. Touch the ground. Touch the ground. Turn alt. Is alt mode off? Alt mode is off. I guess once you activate it, you can't deactivate it. But, yeah. Nonetheless, a very cool creation. Very strong way to start out this episode, I must say. But yeah, if you want to vote for this, it's down in the comment section below. Let's try- Oh no, are you kidding me? 
I did it again. All right, so we have a swap van as our next vehicle here. This thing actually looks really awesome. Looks like a pretty traditional swap van. Uh, 556 parts. Uh, it's made for dangerous missions, and it holds multiple swap members in the back. Actually, I think we got a switch here. There we go. Pop out with the squad there. That looks pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and test this thing out. Uh, you know, Dob, I would actually offer to give you a ride, but you don't actually sit, so... Oh, and I'm in the... On! Oh, let's work this. Okay, driver's seat. There we go. Alright, let's pull this thing out. Alright, so it looks like today we're gonna have a mix of, like, your traditional police vehicles, and then you have some of the odd stuff, like the, uh, the flying explodey one uh, that we checked out first. But, this is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and light up the sirens here. Really liking the light pattern on this. The swap van itself has a really nice aesthetic to it. Plus, the uh, the minimal brick count means this would be a very good uh, server swap vehicle. And definitely something we can use for videos. Alright, so we're heading into action here. Hold on, slide around the corner. There we go. So yeah, you can just pop open the SWAT doors here, let your team out. Boom and boom. Yeah, nice. Right, so you got that light pattern. Of course, we're going to let it get hit by the train because we also need to test the destruction physics of these because that's a thing. Uh, there's your headlights there. Overall, really digging this vehicle. Now, I do believe there's a switch here. Hold on, before we destroy this. There we go. Look at that. You don't see that very often in brick rigs. That is engine detail, and those are fine details. And is there a side door? Oh, too late. All right, here it goes. Oh! Wow, durability. Wait. Wait. Did the the cab stay together and then the, the back section popped off? That's actually really neat. You know, I actually think the uh, the members would have survived if they had their seatbelts on. All right, so this is the Powerline Armored Truck SK Armory. I'm assuming this is similar to a SWAT van. Uh, does it hold a bunch of people? Back doors open or something? I'm pretty sure they do. Might have to do it from the inside. Looks like you got a spare gas tank there. There's a tire on the top of it. Really, really digging the way this one looks. Let's take it out of the lot real quick. Alright, so do we have lights? Yes, we do. Get our sirens going. Yep, got sirens. Check. Now, question is, I'm pretty sure some other features here. So we're gonna need to click some buttons. See kind of what else this thing does. Might have to actually do some stuff from the uh, from the camera here. Let's go ahead and test out the uh, the drivability of it. Very nice. Uh, got the big off road tires on it. I like the uh, I like the bumper bar on that. I like the lights on it. That's pretty cool. Uh, of course, like I said, spare tire on top. You know, it's killing me. Do these back doors? They look like they're actually. I think they open. Uh, let's see if we can deploy the team here. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, uh, I don't see an actuator there. Maybe they don't open. Uh, I'll have to go check the pictures. But yeah, you can uh, stuff the team in here. Uh, quite a bit of room. I kind of like the interior of this. This is nice. Uh, really lit up. Uh, let's get back in the driver's seat. Ooh, I like that. That's something I just now noticed. The uh, the back four wheels actually steer. I thought it was just the front wheels. So hold on, let me get in the light here. So check this out. When I weave left and right, you can see the back wheels actually turning. They don't turn as much as the front wheels. That actually makes this thing really maneuverable for a, uh, a big creation like this. Now, I don't see any way to open the doors, but we did check out the uh, interior there. Uh, nonetheless, very nice creation. Uh, looks like a lot of detail here. And I'm liking the, uh, it kind of gives me a, a futuristic vibe. Uh, that's what I'm getting from this, but... Nonetheless, very cool. Now, I see a little flammable tank emblem. I don't wonder, is that something explosive in here? What happens if we get hit by the train? Uh, that could be epic too. Now, by the way, don't judge off whether this thing explodes or not. Judge off, you know, the aesthetics, uh, the functionality, and just overall how much you actually like it. I'm just hitting the train as a bonus here. Alright folks, time to say goodbye to the Powerline SK Armory. Oh, oh, that is another very strong, wow, that was minimal amount of damage. Man, this thing could take a beating. Alright, so this is the Land Rover Defender. You know, I don't think I've ever seen a Land Rover as a police car. That's actually kind of neat looking. Alright, so let's turn that on. We've got si Oh, you know what? 
I wonder where this is from. I think it says it's from Germany. So they have German Land Rover police cars. That's actually cool. Uh, Land Rovers are kind of expensive, though. Uh, this thing's got quite a bit of pickup. Turn on the lights here. Be ready for a full-blown pursuit. Top speed is, uh, I wouldn't say it's that fast. It's actually really stable. I kind of like to, uh, I sway back and forth to see if I can get it to break traction. Oh, I finally did. It took a little bit. Oh, that barrel roll. Ah, is that scalables? I think these are scalable bricks on this. That means this thing's probably going to be fairly sturdy. Uh, so got that. We got the siren. You got your light. Uh, it's even got, I'm assuming that's the pattern or the light pattern over there. It's just the blues. You don't have like the, uh, the red and blue like you do over here. Alright, time for a little bit more maneuverability test. So I'll hit the brakes here, see if we can skid around this corner. Oh, that was my bad. My bad. I took out the fender there, Han. Reset. Alright, we'll uh, take it around the next corner here. See how it handles it. Uh, it doesn't seem too tippy. It, it will, and I think it might be because of the wheel profile. That's a pretty skinny on the wheels there, so maybe that's what's helping it tip over. That, in fact, is pretty high off the ground, so. Uh, hold on. Give it a little bit more of a shake here. Okay, I can't get it to drift. I was trying to get it to swing around that corner there. All right, so let's go and pull up through here. I'm going to give you guys one more look at this awesome creation. All right, here we go. And boom! Yes! Oh, Bob got completely obliterated there. Wow, Bob ended up over here. Where's the driver's seat at? That was awesome. Yep, it uh, it might have hollowed it out just a bit. All right, let's uh, move on to the next creation. All right, so the next one looks like, I don't know really what you would call this. It's called the BPPSF, and that stands for Police Special Forces. Uh, so maybe like a cross between a SWAT van and some sort of mobile death unit, because look at this thing. Uh, very mean looking. So, let's go ahead. We're gonna hop into this. Uh, can I instantly fire off the gun? It's fine. You know, I was gonna try to fire off the guns. Uh, we'll just run Dob over. There we go. Alright, Dob. Alright, have a good day. Um, we're gonna go pull this out. We're gonna go play with it. Alright, so we got the lights. Got sirens. Uh, actually, I don't hear sirens on this one. Uh, that's actually kind of surprising. Okay, so you got your horn. Uh, so I think there's two separate seats here. You've got this, uh, the main driver's seat, which I believe, uh, he can control the doors and stuff. Let's check that real quick. Yeah, there we go. So, got the doors. Oh, the hood opened up. There we go. More engine detail. Like seeing stuff like that. It's pretty cool. All right. So, we got that. Let's take a look at the interior. You got your gauges up here, and this is where the SWAT team sets. And I'm assuming that's going to be where the gunner is. So, hold on, let's go out of alt mode real quick. Actually, let's close everything, then go out of alt mode. All right, so definitely you'd want to roll up on the scene. Maybe you got some criminals robbing the Bricksville Bank, and you can take them out with this. So, we're going to swap seats real quick. Uh, let's see, I think it's this one back here. All right, so are we in the gunner now? Hold on, switch cameras. Oh, look, gunner cam. All right, so you can move it. It is flickering a little bit. Something's like glitching in itself, I guess. So, you do have guns. Oh, it's got hoses, too. That's cool. So, I got that. There's your guns. So, yeah, you can definitely take stuff out. Man, this would, would uh, definitely be a very fun uh, vehicle to do with two people. So, somebody could be in this gunner seat as the other person drives around. And they can take out the baddies here. Would be good for pursuits, too. All right, does this one turn off the back? No, this one strictly turns off the front. Uh, the front two wheels, so... All right, let's go ahead and turn it. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that two-wheel in action. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, save it, save it. <laughs> okay, you don't want to take uh, corners too fast with this thing because it will tip over. Uh, there we go. Nice little bit of movement. It feels like the, uh, I don't know if the, the steering's on actuators. It's got a little bit of a delay to it, but it's got a really nice roll. Like, once it gets moving, yeah, it actually handles pretty good. So let's go and give you guys another look at this thing. A very cool stuff there. Uh, really digging the way this one looks. You got the police special forces on the side. Pretty cool. All right, let's uh, see what it looks like when we blow it up here. All right, here comes the train. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, oh, wow, it just bounced. 
Oh, it's gonna land in the train. Oh, that's got to get some style points right there. Up oh, and it's flipping, and it's doing some more flipping. Wow, really sturdy. <laughs> All right, so we have the BCPD SWAT command truck. This is heavily based off a LAPD SWAT van. Uh, it's kind of, I guess, your mobile command unit. Probably has computers, carry SWAT officers in here. Oh, yeah, here's where the SWAT officers would set. Kind of go up here. Here's a little command center right through here. Very cool looking. Wow. And then, of course, the drivers are going to be up here. So hop in this thing let's get it moving and we'll kind of start to test its functionality out all right so there's his lights go we got sirens on this one I do not believe oh there they are okay so we got our sirens on this we got your horn all right so let's see how do we we just actuate these things open so it's one single door in the back let the team out is that like a little locker or a phone or something you got like a first aid kit and some other kits in there pretty cool all right, so you got that. Let's see, does this stop? Oh, check that out. That's a nice little detail. So, hold on, let's stop here. Uh, there we go. So the whole cab actually leans forward, so you can go whoop, and you'll have access to the engine compartment. Uh, very cool, you don't see that too often. And it also looks like the side door opens too. So if you were to get in here and, uh, I guess, be the man in charge in here. Is that like a little coffee maker? Kind of looks like it. Sweet stuff. Alright, so let's get moving. So if we gotta get to the scene real quick. Does that top? Oh, that top hatch opens, doesn't it? There's not actually a, a little opening there, but that's still pretty cool. So yeah, that works too. Kind of glad I caught that. It's a nice little touch there. So that... Oh, even... You know what? There's new things I discover about this each time. So the mirrors move and also the, uh, the front window pops open. That is cool. Alright, so it is a SWAT command unit. Like I said, you're probably not going to be rushing to the scene too fast. Alright, we got a left up here. We're going to see what happens when we hit this with the train. I'm pretty sure this thing's pretty sturdy. Alright, so you see the BCPD Special Weapons and Tactics. I like this. I like it a lot. Oh, look at that. Perfect timing. Boom! Wait, what? Man! These things... Oh, that one's actually going to... Wait, what? Really? We're going to take a ride on the train? Oh, man, there's only a little bit of damage on the side. That thing held up really well. Jeez. That was cool. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so we have this monstrosity here. This is called the Ridiculous Stupid Police Tank. I, I didn't make this up. That's the name. Uh, yeah, this thing is the BRPD, the Unnecessarily Extreme Forces. Uh, it's meant to be kind of an off-roader. I think it does have machine guns, possible cannon rounds in it, and it's kind of like a why. Why would the Brick Ricks PD need this? I don't really know. Uh, looks like we got... What's the interior like? Uh, oh. Oh, wow, this is like a full-blown... Hey, look, there's some bobs in here. There's a full-blown command center. Look at this. Uh, looks like we got a map. Uh, blow stuff up, okay? You got Waffle Tower, Komodo Park, City Hall, Spy Cakes Val Valley, OB University, and Gray's Grocery. I like that. Alright, let's see. Is that a drag motor in this? Yes, this thing is unnecessary. Uh, I saw some actuate. Oh, boy. There's, uh, there's some actuators back here, huh? Let's see if we can get these things. Alright, so that's how it opens up to get inside of it. Pretty cool. Uh, it's morally meant for off-road, so we will uh, take it out over here. I just popped all of its tires, because why not? So, it's got guns on the front of it. You've got a cannon. Is that an auto cannon? Or is it a burst cannon? I think it's like a burst. Like, I can't hold it wide open, so you've got that. Uh, we can turn that. Does it go up and down? Kind of go. Oh, yeah, it does go up and down. So, yeah, you can actually uh, move the turret on top. Very cool. This thing is basically just a tank. Alright, let's hop up and see what's going on here. Uh... Oh no, Bob down! Oh, another Bob down. What the heck? Okay, why did I die? Let's go ahead and god mode ourselves. Alright, let's hop up in here. So yeah, you got the current map. This is a full-blown thing that you can walk around in. Uh, looks like you have like a little cell right here that you can actually open up so you can throw criminals in there. Alright, so this is a ridiculous tank. It's got a Dunk Brick Donuts in it. This thing has its own donut store. Like, what the heck? That is awesome. 
All right, well, that's fairly impressive. Now, it says it's not really meant for on-road, but we're going to have to test it out anyway, so let's get moving. Oh, this thing is too fast for itself. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yeah, it's definitely got some sort of tank steering on it. I do see where it says, uh, yeah, you might want to be off-road for this one. Uh, it's doing a decent job, though, on the city streets. Definitely not bad. Now, I don't know what's going to happen when this thing gets hit by the train, because it might be a little bit on the ridiculous side. All right, it's that time. Let's see this thing get hit. What is going to happen here? I don't know. I think it's going to be pretty strong. Here we go. Oh, uh-oh, it's stuck. It's still moving. Ah, not bad at all. Oh, and it still fires. Jeez. All right, so we have an all-wheel drive police hatchback, and supposedly it has front-mounted machine guns and nitrous. So let's check this out real quick. All right, turn those on. We do have lights. We do have our sirens. That's good. All right, I'm just going to run over what's left of Dob there. Let's see how this thing handles. This looks like it's a pretty fast one. Now, supposedly you got your, your machine guns there, which that's pretty cool. Then you have nitrous. Oh, yes. Oh, we're hauling the mail here. All right, can we make this corner? Uh, hit the brakes! No! <laughs> on, engage the nitrous. Oh, oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. And boom. Oh, huh, that didn't break apart like I thought it would. I actually like those machine guns. Where are they actually mounted? Okay, they're right there. Sweet. Uh, handle's actually really great. I don't have any complaints about the handling. So we can kind of whip it around a corner here. Uh, it's not too tail happy. It tends to, uh, I would say it understeers a little bit, but nonetheless, it does stay planted. Oh, let's do a little wobbly test. I guess we'll start calling this the wobble test. No, oh, pretty good. All right, there's one more view of it there. All right, let's go park this bad boy on the train tracks and see what happens. This thing's gonna get obliterated. It's not very big, so... All right, here we go. Say goodbye to Bob. Here we... Oh! <laughs> yeah! That was exactly like I pictured it. With those uh, rocket boosters on the bottom, Bob is a dead man. All right, so this is the 2018 M300 sedan police car. Actually kind of like the way this one looks. Let's go and hop into this and check it out. All right, it's getting rolling here. You got like a little hitch on the back. Let's go and turn on those. Okay. It says one through three are the lights, so do I hit two? Is that a blinker? Oh, it's actually got blinkers on it. You don't see that too often. Okay, so we can go there, there. Trying to figure out the main lights. There's your sirens, so it's got those. Uh, but how do we actually... I saw a light pattern from the picture, and I, I don't see how to activate it. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Let's keep clicking them all. Uh, some seems like it's not going off. Oh, no, that's my police car. No. Oh, we need to catch it. Stand in front of it, Bob. Yep, there we go. No. Actually, check this out. I think this is one of the first ones that I've seen that actually has a cage in it. Oh, let's look at the interior. Yeah, it's got a cage for the baddies in the back. Pretty cool. All right, I'm not really 100% sure. I, I read it. It says just one through three activates the, uh, activates all the stuff, and I've clicked one through three several times. Let's try it just in case in alt mode. Uh, no. Yeah, we're not getting anything as far as as far as any patterns. Let's pick up some speed. Trying to spin this thing out. Actually, let's take it off-roading real quick, see how it handles. Ooh, it's got a bouncy back suspension. Check that out. Hey, it looks like a bull. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, did not expect to be able to do that with it. That's actually kind of funny. All right, let's turn that back on. So yeah, it's got pretty decent speed. Uh, it handles pretty well, I must say. I don't think there's any actuating parts. Now, it does have a hitch on it, so if you had a trailer or something, uh, you could engage that back there. So uh, definitely not bad. I actually do really like that front grille. It's actually pretty nice looking. All right, let's see what happens when this thing gets hit by the train. All right, here we go. Say goodbye to the police car. This is gonna hurt. Oh, oh, it bounced, oh! It just bounced right off the building over there. Actually, minimal amount of damage. It cracked the back window, blew a piece of the door off, and a little bit of fender damage in the back. Not bad. I bet you I can even drive off. Yep. I can drive right off from that. All right. This is it. This is the final one. This is the Batmobile. 
Now you're probably asking yourself, Komodo, is that legal? Can you have the Batmobile as one of your creations for police? And I thought over it pretty long and hard, and I figured, you know what? I'm gonna allow this as a police creation. Uh, you never know. Maybe Batman, I don't know, gave it to the police. Uh, maybe he, they can use it. So, it's a Batmobile. It does actually have some pretty neat features. It's a little, uh, little smaller than I thought a Batmobile would be, but nonetheless, uh, the stuff that this thing can do is actually pretty cool looking. So, let's go and hop that. Oh, okay. If I'm not mistaken, this is based off of either the late 80s, the Michael Keaton ones, or early 90s, uh, or the possibly the, the Batman cartoon from the 90s, too. I'm not really sure which one it's based on. Uh, it does have some underglow there. So this thing does have some features. Uh, it does have machine guns. It's got those. You got a machine guns at the back, and I believe there is a... Yeah, there should be a cannon here. There's your cannon, so it's got a little front cannon. And it's got something, I believe those are, what it just dropped, are those mines? Oh yeah, they are. So yeah, this thing can drop mines, so that's pretty cool. And of course, you got your little extra bit of boost here uh, from the rock. It's kind of like the, uh, oh, was that an extra mine that just popped out? That could have been dangerous. So yeah, you got your little rocket booster in the back for extra speed. So pretty cool little Batmobile here, and I think it's still pooping out mines. This seems dangerous. Oh, ooh, this thing's fast. Oh, this is... This is way too fast. Oh, hold on, can we take off? Oh, there's your underglow. Oh, and now we have the bat rocket. Yep, that's a that's a thing right now. Yep, that looks that's great. Great. All right. Oh, there we go. Might want to reset that. Oh, let's drop them mines again. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. I'm having some issues here. Actually, I bet you this thing can jump. Hold on, let's let's jump the Batmobile. If there's one thing that we can do with it. Definitely uh, hitting this. There we go. Uh, and now we're back into bat rocket mode. And boom. Pretty sure this thing's gonna explode uh, once we set it on the train tracks. I actually really like it. I, I think it's a nice creation. Uh, some nice details there. Let's turn the lights on. Of course, there wouldn't be any sirens or... Uh, at least I don't like there is. No, there isn't any sirens or anything. I was like, man, if this has, like, police sirens, that'd be cool. All right, here we go. Boom! Uh, that held up pretty well, must say. Batmobile, I would say, is a success. There we go. All right, actually, there's a detonate button back here. Can I, can I pull this thing up? Come on, come on. Action four. Where's the button? I don't think there's an actual blow-up button. Alright, so that is it. That was all 10 creations from the Discord competition. Dog, pull yourself together. You're looking a, a little down. Um, let's see, where's your head at? Pretty sure this might be the top of your head. Let's go ahead and stick that back there. Alright, looks beautiful. But anyways, which creation was your favorite? Be sure to go vote down in the description. Uh, we'll reveal a winner here in about a week. But do think of this as a bonus Brick Rigs. This won't replace any of the normal Brick Rigs episodes. Uh, this is something that I did want to run uh, because I thought it would be really neat to do. And I think you guys will really enjoy some of these creations. So, vote down below. Thank you guys for all the love and support on the Brick Rigs series. You guys are absolutely awesome. And we will see you guys next time in Brick Rigs. Thank you.